Hey, get out of the bullies club. A few months ago, I couldn't even spell bully. Now, I am a bully. Still can't spell it though. I don't think that being a bully is a good thing at all. Can you prove you didn't take the great conch shell? Hey, I'm innocent, I'm telling you. You're not going to put the blame on me for this one. Now scram, before I lose my pleasant nature. Hey, what do you two want? Excuse me, but I was wondering if we could borrow that torch to find the golden pipes. If it's in the clubhouse, it must be the clubhouse torch. And maybe you didn't notice, but this is the bullies club. And I just happen to be... THE PRESIDENT! <gasps> oh. Ahem. Ah, uh, Claw. Have you ever considered that your need to hold on to inanimate objects is a simple cry for love and affection? Yeah, I have. And if you don't get lost, I'll bop you on a kisser. Hmm. I don't think he's going to give us that torch. That lobster is not very friendly. Bullies scare me, Freddy. Don't worry. I'll protect you, Luther. It would really help us to have that torch. All the more reason I shouldn't give it to you. But why are you being so horrible? I already told you. I'm president of the Bullies Club. I've got to set a bad example. We'd really appreciate it if you'd give us that torch. Sure, I'll give it to you. Right up your nose. <laughs> I think you're acting really despicably. Thanks, but it's no use trying to butter me up, because I ain't going to give you the torch. If I were a big, strong bully, you'd give me that torch. Oh, you don't scare me. Even my breath is stronger than you are. <laughs> We'd really appreciate it if you'd give us that torch. Sure, I'll give it to you. Right up your nose. <laughs> I think you're acting really despicably. Thanks. But it's no use trying to butter me up, because I ain't going to give you the torch. Step right up, gills and buoys, for the most amazing fairground under the sea. You remember the terrific tumble tubes ride last year? Well, what we've got in store for you this year is even better! Hurry, hurry, guppies, ladies and gentlefish! Step right up to Gil Barker's world-famous floating fun! Just four purple sea urchins gets you inside. That's right, if you've got four purple sea urchins and you can hit the broad side of a barn, you can win an amazing funhouse mirror, like this one here. Groupers get group discounts. Tired of getting the cold fin at parties? Is scorn the only thing you spawn? Well, don't get in a stink when you can be a hit with your own fun house mirror. Make yourself look petite as a posy or big as a big blue whale. Contort your features and amaze your friends. If you've got four purple sea urchins and you can fall off a log without asking your brother for help, 
Why, you can win a funhouse mirror, just like this beautiful floor model. Only one per customer. <laughs> you say you want world peace? You say you want thin thighs and bulging pectoral fins? Well, you won't get that here. But for only four purple sea urchins, what you will get is a chance to prove your skill, have a thrill, and win a phantasmagorical funhouse mirror, just like this one. Only one mirror per customer. Your consumer rights are not affected. See me, Eagle Barker, for details. Wow! It's a granny group of fortune-telling machine. I've heard about these. Look, Freddy, I found a purple sea urchin. Throw it over here and I'll hold on to it for later. Good work, Luther. <laughs> oh. brought a fairground organ in for the Founders Day Festival. I love music. I'm glad you're my best friend, Luther. I really like going on adventures together, Freddy. I can't even see my own fin in front of my face. Freddy? Freddy? Where are you? I'm right here, Luther. I knew that. <coughs> Things always work out for the best. <coughs> Words of wisdom indeed. is in the bag. I can't argue with that. The tongue is the enemy of the neck. What does that mean? I think it means that you shouldn't say things that could get you into big trouble. Luther, I never realized you were so wise. Yeah, I'm a real wise guy, all right. Not to mention an expert at getting into big trouble. Good fortune favours the well-peppered mime. What? I mean, the well-prepared mind. Hard work pays off. Truer words were never spoken. In unity, there is strength. Wow, that's really deep. Innocence has nothing to fear. I wonder if my mother's hiding inside that machine, writing these things down. A fool and his monkey are soon parted. Sorry, that should be money, not monkey. Appearances are often deceiving. I can't argue with that. Hey! What's the matter? It's this thing stuck on my tooth. Only 1% of Lady Narwhals grow a tooth, you know. But now it's ruined, defaced by this metal nut. How did that nut get stuck on there? More to the point, how will I ever get it off? Come on, Luther. Let's lend a fin. Oh, dear. My beautiful. 
beautiful tooth. Don't worry, we'll find a way to remove that nut. <gasps> hey, cheer up! Having something stuck on your tooth isn't so bad. Besides, we'll find a way to help you, Nadine. Look, Luther, a plastic shovel. We could use it to dig a hole all the way to the other side of the world. Whatever you say, Luther. I think I'll just languish here until I die. Don't worry, Nadine. I'm sure we can find a way to remove that nut. What do you know about who stole the great conch shell? The last person I saw near it was Horst Fedders. Maybe he's the one who took it. What were you doing when the great conch shell was stolen? There is no possibility that I could have committed the crime. I was here all day, brushing my tooth. To think that I might have to go through life with guppies swimming after me chanting, You've got a nut on your tooth. You've got a nut on your tooth. Luther and I promise to do everything we can to remove that nut. Who do you think stole the great conch shell? I can't believe that anyone would take the great conch shell. It is just too important. But if you really must know, Rosy Pearl looks awfully suspicious. Look, Freddy, it's a purple sea urchin. Got it! Swimming to and fro I always eat my seaweed Because it helps me grow Someday I'll be so big and strong I'll never have to fear But for now I'm a little fishy Who is hiding under here <coughs> These kelp vines are too thick for us to get past. Ah. Whack. That is horrible. If we can find someone who likes to eat this type of kelp, then we can get through this doorway. We'll need some sharp thinking if we're going to get through that doorway. But you can go. A work glove, Freddy. The label says it has extra padding for insulation and safety. This old glove might just come in handy. Yippee! Whoa! Whoopee! I think this makes you go through the tubes twice. to grow up to be just like you. I think you're fine just the way you are. Luther, look! It's one of the golden pipes we need. Yeah, but how are we going to get it out? We'll just need to find something small enough to fit in that tube. This just opened that tube. It's 
one of the golden pipes. Good job, Luther. Now we only need two more golden pipes for old Soggy to pick up the scent. Nobody knows the trouble I've seen. Nobody knows my sorrow. I wonder how many golden pipes Freddy and Luther have now. I sure hope you're right. Oh. 